Okay, this platform got a bit damp actually over the winter. We must have had over 60,000 meals served on this deck. People from every corner of the globe have eaten here. For one of the first structures I ever built at the farm. But I've got me new 12 amp hour battery packs. Should be able to keep going all night. Take this deck apart. The reason is we've got to put a 12 meter platform. This is a nine meter platform. Oh yeah. Well, that's where we got to today. Look at this beautiful sky. Memories. As I pull up these boards, it's like I'm unearthing memories. So many joyful times, challenging times. Oh, this place is steeped in memories in just a short time. It's emotional pulling this floor up. I mean, we're going to replace it with a bigger and more spacious one. But a lot has happened in this place in this time. Okay. So, using hanger brackets to connect the middle, my thinking is to run the very middle beam and then check the other's fit and that will, once we fill in this section, it will make this square and good. Still nothing is attached solid on the outside, but once these middle five beams are in on each side, that's a time when everything can start getting put down solidly because we know it all fits. Okay, side beams in, good. So they're all held in place with these little brackets. And then we've used little L clips to secure them to the legs so the whole frame can't move. Now we're at the point where we can put in these diagonals. And at the same time, we've got to just make sure all the corners of the octagon line up nicely on their posts, which they do. Fantastic, this is looking brilliant. Okay, first platform done. For now, we've got the cladding to go on. But what we've found as we've tightened this all together, the corners have just come up perfectly. I thought it was actually gonna accentuate errors as we went along. But it's actually just brought everything in beautifully. Perfectly, beautifully.
Okay, deck number two. Double the fast. That's two of the decks up. Very nice process putting these together because one thing to say is when you're putting these legs down in the ground, that's the least accurate part of the process. So all the wood is precision cut, but then where you drive the feet down can move an inch or two sideways because you hit a rock or whatever. But what we found is just the process of putting everything together, it just squares everything up and it comes back to meeting perfectly in the corners as it should. So it's really nice to see these come together. All right, gonna get this deck down today. Ragnar's on screw picking up. Good job, Ragnar. Wow, you got all the screws. Put in your pot. <laughs> well, looking forward to a much more symmetrical, geometrically perfect platform here. Well, we've got that yet to do as well. Turning back to the yard, this is how it's going to be. We're going to have the kitchen next to the slaughtery here with the open bar for serving. And then this platform will be much bigger with the open sided teepees that I've shown you in many other videos. Looking straight out onto the gardens. Got our chimney fixed. Nice, finally, took a few months. And then we're thinking to build a wash up station here. This is like raised beds that just We've used for tree propagation or extra veg or rhubarb, whatever. Uh, it's the side of the magazine, but we've always had to bring down food from the kitchen in the house to serve it here. And then we've always washed it up in the early days. We washed up outside our house, but as we want more privacy, as we get older, we moved the washing up station to the kitchen at the back on the other side of the road. But to have a flow with everything in the yard like this is going to be Really nice. Well, there you go. That's where we got to today. This is the water line that actually runs off for the market garden. We just never buried it. We let it under the pipe here. Might need to lead another water pipe from the slaughtery. We might come under the new structure to the wash station there. What a change. That's where we're going to leave it. I think if we had the starts of the platforms like you saw up in the forest for these two teepees, and we'd already taken the trees down up there, we could easily have finished all the platforms tomorrow. But we'll see. I'm working with William, who was here for the Joel Sarsen course that Joel Sarsen never actually managed to get to because he couldn't get on the plane. And um, we've had a great day. I think that's a great success. Three small TP platforms done, ready for the clouding or the decking and taking this one apart. It's much harder taking things apart than putting them together, but I think that was a great work day and hopefully we'll have a few more good days this week getting things moved on. And who knows how far we'll get, but we'll certainly push for getting as far as we can so hope you enjoy the little video updates folks it's always a pleasure to share what's going on and things are ramping up here as soon as we're done with this project we've got tree planting we've got the eggmobile nest to build and the automations to finish 
and it's just a couple of weeks two and a half weeks till the team get here now so then it really ramps up so busy busy days but i'm having fun great to be outside great to be in the sun don't forget you can find out all about what we're up to in our book regenerative agriculture in the links below soon there will be the ridgedale builds book which we'll do a crowdsource campaign for all the CAD plans and cut lists and details of how to build all the structures that we've built around our farm, as well as links to other stuff down there. So click subscribe, share with your friends. Don't forget to like the video. It helps with the algorithms, etc. And we'll see you in a video soon. Well, it's getting muddy now. It all thaws up. We're just bringing up a bale. I'm just going to unwrap this before we dump it in there because it's way easier that way. <laughs> 